Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on my channel on Discord and today we will be finally updating the tutorial for the original 2016 better Discord and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to install better docs or better Discord from better docs, Discord themes and Discord additional plugins. Now, why do you want to get this? Uh, why is Better Discord interesting for you? Mainly it's interesting for you because it gives you a lot of additional functionality for Discord and it also enables you to get some more privacy. Depending on whatever you want, you can have different versions of it by different developers. Most of them support uh, CSS and some of them support Do Not Track. So let's open the download from better docs and we can see what versions there are now all the links to to this video are in the description below along with timestamps so you can see when i talk about what and you can skip ahead if you missed out on anything okay so i'll be opening better docs now and as we'll see if chrome loads up there's different versions of it so there's the bandage BD one, there's enhanced discord, power cord, beautiful discord, discord injections, better discord. Okay, so let's look at all the features. For first of all, what I use currently is bandage BD. It doesn't support tele uh, telemetry blocking, which means your location will still be saved on the discord servers. And uh, I found out that Discord has a very big, they track a lot of data of you, so they know exactly where you uh, access it, from what device you access it, what time you access it, and what messages you exactly write. So uh, you might want to consider telemetry blocking if that's important to you. And then there's other features that you might want to consider. If Twitch emotes and better TTV emotes and Frank Phase Z emotes are important for you, Bandage BD is probably the best solution for you. But if telemetry blocking and all the other stuff that comes with it anyway is important for you, then Enhanced Discord is probably a good suggestion. And if you only want some customization to your Discord, none of the emotes and none of the telemetry blocking, Power Cord is a good option. So now let's get to getting Bandage BD since that is the most mainstream version currently available for Discord and it's also very easy to install. So once you click download it should open a GitHub link and it will, uh, it will tell you um, all the latest releases of it and as you can see the last release was on October 29 by uh, Roundsy and if you want to download it you click Bandage BD Windows XA and this will provide you with an installer. I'm not going to um, to download it again since I already have it. And then I will show you how this uh, installer looks like. So the installer looks like this. It allows you to install bandaged BD and since I'm already using it, I will just show you a repaired version of it. And this won't say repair with you. It will say install on stable. And what you want to do is click install on stable and it will install it into the local Discord app data path. And this is what uh, problems might occur if you need to have them repaired. Uh, and then once you click install, you can click continue. And that's how the normal install would go. I'm going to cancel here because I already have it. And I can show you how it looks like for now. With me, I currently installed the Discord lecture theme. I am considering bringing out a custom theme for our Discord community, Arctic Elements. I will also be supporting anyone who has issues installing this can come onto my server and ask me for help. I'll be putting the description to my server in the description below, the link to my servers. And to look at a better Discord or to activate it in a sense, you kind of need to go to your user settings. And then you'll see a uh, tab that's called Bandage BD because it's bandaged as in it's a modified version of or, of the original Better Discord. It's kind of updated. So as you can see, the original one was by Jix, which I was talking about three years ago. And then there's the bandaged version by Cerebros and also the theme version that I currently have. So yeah, we can go to the core settings and in the core settings you can see a public server button which you can enable or disable. Currently it's uh, not supported or at least it's not working anymore for me. So I left it disabled. There's minimal mode, you can like uh, hide elements and reduce their size. Then there's voice mode, it will only show you voice channels, hide channels. There's minimal mode you can enable, I'm not sure how you actually do that. 
Oh yeah, you can just enable it here. And you can also go to dark mode. It makes elements dark by default in Discord. Then there's voice disconnect. It will just disconnect you from a voice channel if you close Discord. There's 24 hour timestamps, call it text. Uh, color text is a cool feature. It actually makes the text you write from your role that color. There's better Discord blue, change the like, general look of Discord to blue. And obviously there's developer mode if you need that enabled. Then there's different types of bandages, content error mode or um, shows modal with plugin theme errors. If there's like errors, it will actually show you the modal. And then show, show to toast is, uh, shows a small notification for important information. Uh, scroll to settings, uh, scroll plugins, blah, blah, blah. Animate on hover, it will animate emote, uh, emotes on uh, hover if you hover over them. Copy select uh, adds option to context menu when developer mode is active. Download em emotes, uh, you can download emotes when the cache is expired. Then there's normal classes, automatic loading. Automatic loading is one of the most important features to me because once you've actually installed a plugin, it will automatically load it already into better into better Discord, so it will make it a lot easier. Um, then there's enable transparency. If you need that, it will enable transparency for your client and it, will might, it might make it slightly transparent. I'm not quite sure how much. And then there's emotes, uh, which can enable various types of emotes and how they work and what they do. And there's custom CSS. You can load your own CSS and test it here and also save it if you need anything like that. Then there's plugins. Uh, obviously, I've got a one plugin already installed and it's the do not track plugin because telemetry is obviously on right now with this version so i just thought i might as well get the do not track plugin if that helps anything and then there's themes i've got the discord electro theme by spectra currently installed so let's get to the themes first because that's one of the most requested things for discord and also the most important things why i think people get this client so if you go on the link, better discord themes, better docs themes, uh, I always get confused with the names because they're similar, which is probably intentional. You can see that there's several themes available down here. There's featured themes, there's custom themes. I don't know, look, there's 65 themes currently available. So there's definitely something you'll like down there. And then there's the blurple theme, looks pretty funny. You can also look at demos of the themes. I, ha I haven't actually tried that, I wonder how that looks like. Oh, okay, so they load it in a pro like a mobile version of Discord and it looks very good So you can just look at it this way before you even want to download it So it's a pretty cool feature you can preview your theme as requested before you download it Then there's chemical chilled iron clean Amethyst clear version of so much that you can get currently. It's uh, pretty good You can also design your own if you've got some CSS experience it's almost a tongue breaker. Then there's a little big planet theme, Madoka Magic. Oh yeah, I remember Madoka from the original. There's Metro for Discord, Neon Waves. Several themes, there's so much you can get. Um, and it's pretty cool. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And downloading a theme is pretty easy. I think I'll try this one because I think this is the uh, original one that I had. I'm gonna click on it. I wonder if there's, yeah, there's a download. Okay, so if I want to preview, I click the demo button and as you can see, it looks it should look like this when I install it. So I can close the tab and I can download it and it will down take me to a down git link. I'm going to quickly save it on my desktop. And uh, as you can see, I'm dragging it along. It's here and it's in a zip. So you open it up and you also open your discord client and you go to plugin, uh, sorry, themes, and go to open theme folder. This should open your theme folder for Discord. And once you've got that open, all you have to do is to drag your theme into the folder. And once it's in there, it should tell, it should show up in your themes. And as you can see, it already did. So uh, you, what you have to do is disable your other theme and it will revert back to normal Discord. And once you enable that, it automatically loads your theme that you wanted and it looks pretty cool. So that's pretty easy to install and uh, shouldn't be too difficult for anyone to do. Let's go to plugins since that is a bit more advanced, but not, not really. <laughs> With the plugins, you go to the Better Discord, Better Docs plugins page. The link is in the description, as I said. We will today be trying the plugin that I was previously already mentioning and having in it. 
just to make sure everything works because sometimes these plugins don't always work especially when there's outdated marks on them or they just don't work please read them carefully they might break your discord client if you don't have it installed correctly or if they are outdated you just download it it will go to down git and i just saved it to my desktop open it with winrar and you can go to, into the folder and essentially all you need is the JavaScript required. And what you do is go to the cog wheel again, go to your plugins and click open plugins folder. And it should open it for you. And all you have to do is drag and drop into the folder, which will extract it from the zip archive. And you can close that and you can close this too. There's a library needed for do not track. So it will tell you that you need to download the library too. So I'm downloading the library to my desktop as well. And I'll be adding the library to do not track in a second. I open the plugin again and adding a library is just pretty simple. You just drag it in as well and it should understand how it's working. So you enable the library and you're also enabled do not track and now everything should be working and you can also check for updates for your plugins but there's only some plugins that support this feature so yeah this was my tutorial on better discord updated for 2019 since this is one of my biggest videos so far and if you need support, if you've got any questions, you can put them in the comments below or join my Discord server and I will try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. My name on Discord is different from uh, YouTube. My name is Strike Predator. So make sure you ask that person. There's also another guy called Stevie. Uh, he's not directly related to this video. He's just the other um, owner of the server because we run the server together. And um, don't forget to like subscribe if you like this video and it helped you stay tuned for more discord videos and yeah see you guys in the next one